Okay, let's get some of these comments. I want to purchase your ebook. No worries. Go to amazon.com slash Kirk slash shop. All right. What is your StreamYard affiliate link? StreamYard.com slash Kirk question mark one, two. Um, I need to book a consult session. Definitely go to Calendly.com slash Kirk R. Nugent. Love those. Gotta love YouTube. How do I get into your masterclass? Yup. Buymeacoffee.com slash Kirk R. Nugent. Last comment. I'm ready to sign up for Kajabi. Thanks to you. Oh, yeah. Kajabi affiliate link. Find that. Copy. Paste. Excellent. All vocations and disciplines have similar challenges. For content creators, a common one is all the links you need to provide your community. You heard some examples earlier. Genius Link and Bitly are good options, but if you want something branded, the best option I've found is Rebrandly, the link management tool which makes it easy for companies and individuals to create, edit, and share branded links. In this video, I'll share the steps to get it all set up and give a one-two punch to your link problem. Let's go. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today we're looking at how to solve the content creator link problem in just two steps. Two steps, y'all. Let's get into it. So here we are on my desktop. We're looking at rebrandly.com and rebrandly is where we're going to spend majority of our config time today, except for where you purchase your domain. We'll get into that in just a second. Uh, you want to create an account on rebrandly.com to do your link generation and link forwarding and all that good stuff. That's what this is all about. Branded links. Okay. I am using the free plan. You can see what the other plans look like there, but on the free plan, you get 5,000 tr clicks tracked per month. You get 500 total branded links. I think I'm using just under 60, um, five custom domains. And I think I'm using three and I'm going to add a fourth with you right now today. So I have not in the course of two years have not you needed anything more than the free account, but that is completely a personal decision. Once you create your rebrandly account, this is what the dashboard looks like. You want to uh, just kind of ignore the fact that I have a bunch of links here and yours will probably be brand new. So no links for you. So once we're here, then the next thing to do, of course, is to set up domains. You may be prompted to go to set up a domain as soon as you create the account. But if you come to the dashboard by just clicking the rebrandly sign, you have this page, then you go to domains. Once we're here at domains, you can see I have three domains added. What we'll want to do is go to new domain. And once you're at new domain, you have two options here. Even though, even though it doesn't look like it, you can go through and search for whatever website you want. Um, I'm going to do make Jesus go viral dot life. That's the site that I'm going to use to, to forward. And you can see that it's not available. That is because I've already purchased it using GoDaddy. We'll get into that in a second, but you can also see that it gives me some other options. You can actually purchase your domain right here from rebrandly. Right. That that actually is a simple way of getting this done. Just purchase a domain directly through rebrandly. And I do recommend that you use a domain that is specific for your link generation, not like your main website. And then you're using like a subdomain or a slash because it's going to get long. You want to use something that is just for link generation. So even what I'm using, make Jesus go viral dot life. That's just an example for this video. But uh, under normal circumstances, you'd want it to be very short because you want the link to then also be short. All right. So I am going to clear this out because I'm not going to buy mine through rebrandly. But again, if you decide to purchase yours through rebrandly, you'll just follow those steps. And rebrandly has a number of uh, help articles that will walk you through multiple different scenarios that you can get your stuff set up and configured. I will leave a link to their help articles here in the description. Uh, but back here on the dashboard, you'll see, as I said, there are two options. One is just to put in your domain name link 
purchase it directly from rebrandly or you can go here to the bottom where it says connect a domain you already own so we're going to click that and paste my link in here because i already own this domain and to be clear there are multiple ways that you can buy a domain you can buy a domain through godaddy.com you can buy a domain through name.com there's many ways you can buy a domain through google domains it's literally domains.google that's it um, and you can buy your domains in many different ways in fact if you already have your website hosted with somebody like bluehost you can actually buy your domain through them as well but my my team <laughs> here at composition we use GoDaddy for all the domains. All of our domains are already here. So this is where we buy our domains. That doesn't necessarily mean it's where you need to, but this is where we buy our domains. And you'll see make Jesus go viral that life is already here. I'm simply going to click on DNS. Please be mindful of this step. You do need to click on DNS for wherever you've purchased your domain. If it is outside of rebrandly, go to that place where you purchase your domain click on the DNS section and then go back to your rebrandly dashboard right at this screen, paste in your domain here as I've done and then click next. Once you've clicked next, it's going to ask you, is this a spare domain? I want you to say yes. If you've purchased this domain for the express purpose of making rebranded links. So if you haven't, you'll see here, it, say, it says, no, it's being used for my website, blog, etc. If that's you, then you'll want to follow that step and go back to the other uh, page where we had all those uh, instruction sets that you can walk through that process. But what we're doing and what I'm recommending is that you purchase a domain specific to this and you want to click, yes, this is a spare domain. Super, you'll be able to use this domain to create branded links. We can click next here and it already comes back with some instructions and it's simple. You can read through this. Um, your actions required DNS to propagate. All we'll need you to do is point, put, create an A record that's you leave the host name blank and then you will point it to this IP address. That's the rebrandly IP address. And so uh, with that said, I can go back over to my, uh, my, my domain manager here in GoDaddy DNS section of make Jesus go viral dot life. I can go to the A record hit edit. I can just simply leave this blank and put the value at that, which is what I pasted in from uh, rebrandly the 52.72.49.79. Again, those links and the instructions will be in the description. Um, once I save this, it will update that DNS record, say success. Um, the other thing that rebrandly was saying to me here was leave empty or put an at sign or put the quotation marks. But it also said an optional create another record that points to www or star and put the same thing. We're going to do the optional as well. So here we have a record. We're going to simply delete this one. Create a new record I can add. It's going to be a record. I'm going to put in www that paste that address one more time and we'll be ready to click add record. That record has been updated. You can see both of these are here now, the at sign, the www, and they're pointing to where they need to be and we are good to go. Now we go back over to rebrandly and we can say view my domains and it is going to not it's not giving us a green mark next to make jesus go viral dot life because it takes about 24 hours for us to have that domain working for have for everything to be pointed to the right place so you would just come back in here a little bit later to ensure that everything is set up and working the way that you want it at some point, maybe in the next half hour, maybe in the next two minutes, maybe in the next 24 hours, you will get a message like this one that says, congratulations, your domain is now verified and ready to be used. All that's left now is to create the link. <laughs> so once you've verified your domain is pointed correctly, the link setup process is fairly simple and you'll want to get used to this part because I find myself creating links literally all the time. Log into Rebrandly, 
Then you want to click the new link button on the top right of the page. A prompt will appear asking for the des destination link. This is the ugly and long and hard to type and especially hard to remember link. Find it, copy it, and then paste it here. For the purpose of this video, I'm using the Huntsville Black Owned Business Facebook page that my wife created. Once your destination link is pasted, the screen will change to open up a few more options. If you have multiple domains pointing to Rebrandly, first select the correct one from the drop-down list. The domain we just connected is makejesusgoviral.life. So let's choose that one. With that selected, all that's left is to type in the desired slash tag, meaning what comes after the domain and slash, which makes up the branded link. I'll choose HBB for Huntsville Black Owned Business. There's really no wrong answer here, as long as it hasn't already been used, but I highly recommend making this short so it's easy to remember and easy to type. Click on create link and you're finished. You're good to go. Repeat this process for all your links and your community may even start to pick up on the pattern you've created. Learn more creator hacks from these videos.